Hi there. Um, I don't think I'm soon to be making another video. I mean, I posted one last night, but hell, why not? Uh, in the process of getting ready. Uh, not going to tell you how because I'm not a goddamn makeup guru. Actually, don't. Oh, shit! Actually, don't know how to do makeup very well. I just kind of throw it on my face. I mean, I used to know. I used to actually want to be a makeup artist for a really long time. But, uh, don't know what happened. Nonetheless, uh, I just kind of wanted to follow up on. The only reason why I'm getting ready and making a video is because I have like 15 minutes before I gotta leave for class. But, um, the only reason why I wanted to make a video is because I kind of wanted to follow up on, uh, on some of the things that I said last night. First thing especially, Akron family, oh my god, oh my god, it was so good. Um, literally, I've never been to a show like that, honestly the best show I've ever been to in my life. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever looked on, or listened to Akron family, but there's a one specific song, it's called Ed is a Portal, and it starts off with chanting. And it's super cool because the band actually only has three people in it. It used to be four, but not three. And uh, so it's them singing, but all the chanting is like the audience. And it was so cool. And at one point, they're just making all this ambient noise. The guy has the entire microphone in his mouth, and he's just blowing into it. Just like an ambient noise, but it was beautiful. And maybe just because it was 420 and everyone was, you know, ooh. But um, not condoning that, not saying it, you should. Not saying it's a good thing, but, uh, not saying it's a bad thing either. Uh, but literally, okay, so Nick, buddy of mine, is actually my boyfriend's best friend, you know, grabs my shoulder, and then some strangers on this side, and then it, the entire venue, and the, I don't know if you guys have ever been to the, the Fox Theater in Boulder, it's not a big venue, but there was a lot of people just, like, crammed into it, and we're all like, ooh, 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 ooh you know, just kind of in it, just kind of hanging on to each other during this ambient noise and swinging on each other and I'm like oh my god I'm so high and then someone well not someone there was like people and they would get in the middle of this big circle and just start like interpretive dancing and then they would walk across and touch someone else and the person went like the second person would come out and it was so crazy it was the most epic concert I've ever been to it was super cool um yeah that's the first thing I want to talk about second uh, I didn't talk about this last night, but I hate maintenance people. I really do. Um, especially living in an apartment complex because they can just kind of come in whenever they want to. They don't really have to be invited. They just kind of knock on your door and yell maintenance and then barge in. And for all they know, I could be butt-ass naked, which I happen to be this morning. Um, I guess, because they, they said they were coming on, uh, on the 20th, on Friday, and they didn't come. Actually, first they said it was coming Thursday, and then they didn't come Friday. And then Monday comes, and they didn't show up. Tuesday comes, and they didn't show up. Wednesday comes, and they didn't show up. So they finally came this morning. And I've been afraid to, like, do anything in my house. Like, God forbid I wanted to take a crap, and they would just barge in. Like, because they said they were coming, but they would never come. So I'd always have to wait till, like, 6 o'clock, holding my bowels and holding anything I want to do in until 6 o'clock came, and I was like, oh, thank God, they're not coming today, even though I wish they would, and then we kept having to hide the dogs, we didn't want to pay for the, didn't want to pay for the fee, <laughs> because we're only here for another month, and then we're moving, um, so I'm not going to pay for it, it's not even my dog, I'm not going to pay for a dog, so we've been having to, like, pay to give it to daycare, but we thought it would be one day, so that was supposed to be, what, like, 18 bucks, but we've been having to do it <laughs> since Monday, or since, uh, Friday, Thursday, anyways, and um, today we ended up just not even bringing him to daycare, and of course today's the, the day they showed up. So we just like hit him in the bathroom and like turned on the shower, like, oh, I'm going to go take a shower, like, don't mind me. And uh, yeah, super weird. So I'm, I'm crashed, like Cody and I are sleeping in the bed, it's actually the regular, it's in my bathroom. Ooh. Sleeping in the bed, and all of a sudden there's a big knock on the door, and it's like, maintenance, and I just ignored it. I was like, fuck this shit, I'm dreaming, you know, just excuse my French, I probably shouldn't swear as much as I do, but I don't care, anyways, so I'm sleeping, I'm like, whatever, I'm dreaming, and then they, like, walk in, and I'm just, like, topless, like, butt-ass naked, laying there, and I'm like, ah, with the blanket, ah. <laughs> and Cody didn't even wake up, it was just ridiculous, what was I gonna say, oh, it was just ridiculous, and the least they could do is be hot, I mean, 
that's been always kind of like a little fantasy of mine, like hot maintenance man, like yeah. Partially just because I've seen, uh, I know it sounds like I'm obsessed, but I'm in love with Norman Reedus. Fucking, I don't know if you guys have ever seen like Octane or even like Red Canyon. Um, not very big movies, not very good movies. I don't know, Red Canyon was pretty good horror movie, but um, Norman Reedus is basically wearing like a like a jumpsuit, like a maintenance jumpsuit the entire movie. Like, yeah, I might be a plumber, it's no big deal, fuck you. You know, well, I'm a plumber in a maintenance jumpsuit. And sometimes, you know, the maintenance man will like take off the top half of it and like tie it around them kind of like a hoodie, but they'll be wearing like a white, with white beater underneath. I'm like, yeah, but these maintenance people are like, really, you had to be, you had to be 50 years old and beer belly? Like, seriously? <laughs> you are not making this easy for me. But, yeah, that's basically, I don't know, I'm just ranting, I'm nothing. I, I, I just gotta get ready, I gotta go to class, I don't really want to do anything, I just kind of want to talk to someone, but no one's in my house. Because they have lives. Uh, we're about to move into a new house, though. Um, kind of, I don't want to say in the ghetto, but kind of in a not-so-good area. Um, it's down on, I don't know if any of you guys live in Colorado, but it's down on Monty and Havana. And I didn't think it was that bad. I was like, whatever, you know, they're just old houses. And then, I don't know, you hear all these horror stories about this place. Like, yeah, didn't you hear about that shooting down there, like, a week ago? I'm like, what? No. And then, like, didn't you hear about those break-ins? I was like... Well, why do people break into shitty neighborhoods? You think that people would go to rich neighborhoods and break in. Anyways, my stepdad's like, don't leave anything valuable in your car. And then I'm like, well, I don't own anything valuable other than my computer. Um, even my cell phone's kind of a piece of shit. So yeah, that kind of made me worried, but then I just kind of got over it. Uh, I think this is ready enough. I think I look all right. A cigarette. Speaking of which, last night in the video, I don't know if you guys saw that scream, I burnt myself in my leg. I literally, like, like, cherry went out onto my leg. You should see this. You can't really see it. I might be, it looks like I'm exaggerating, but it's literally like a bubble. Like, bubble of goo from a burn. And, god damn it hurt. Oh my god, thank god it was on that leg and not my tattoo leg, because I would have been mad if I ruin my tattoo. Like, it's only, it's only like two months old. Like, I'm not gonna ruin it now. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Um, and Mary and Joseph, I'm not saying it in vain. Uh, just in case any of you guys are kind of religious, not trying to offend anyone. Uh, I'm personally not. Uh, I was raised that way. I was raised really Christian, really hardcore. This, this, this. Um, just kind of got over it, I guess. I started reading books, and I don't know, it's not that I don't believe in a God, I just, I don't know, there's a lot of things I don't really like about the Christian God, really, uh, really human-like quality is a lot of really strong emotions that you think someone otherworldly wouldn't have, but I'm not a God, I wouldn't know, I don't know anything about that, so I didn't mean to go on that rant, I'm so sorry, um, didn't mean to offend anyone. Maintenance men, they need to be hot, moral of the story. Norman Reedus. Oh, he's tattooed on my leg forever, honestly. I mean, not just him, but it's a scene. I don't know, did I show you guys that? Anyway, scene from Boondock Saints. Um, and a lot of people are like, well, why'd you get that? I'm like, well, because it's a badass movie. And it was such a powerful scene. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie. I would really hope so. I think it was made in like 99 or something. Um, all three of the the... Sean Patrick Flannery, Norman Reedus, and David Della Rocco come out of the house after, like, slaughtering a bunch of people. And their dad is standing there with, like, the six guns, you know, like, in his, uh, vest, in his gun holder. And, uh, they're all kind of, like, shocked. And that's what the, that's so amazing, that's what the tattoo is, is that the shock. And then Sean Patrick Flannery and Norman Reedus reach over David Della Rocco's shoulder and it's just, oh, it's such a powerful scene, and, and Rocco's just kind of like, eh, eh, kind of like, oh shit, motherfucker. Alright, that's enough of the cursing, and that's enough of me ranting about nothing. Alright, um, Volta album, loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. There was a couple songs that I was kind of like, 
this is a little strange and I'm still kind of trying to listen to it in full like just in order like dun, 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 and just keep listening to it because I don't like it as much as a couple of the other albums but I do like it um, oh no what happened to my computer oh there it goes um, I do like it I just I think my favorite is the Bedlam and Goliath honestly just, oh, what a great album um, yeah that's all I really have to say for now I I think I look ready enough to face the day. I should probably put a bra on. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I should probably change my clothes, too. I've been wearing this for like four days straight. <sighs> That's another thing. I've been afraid to like take a bath or a shower because I'm afraid that me and people are going to burst in and I'm just like in the bubble bath. That would be kind of funny. We were thinking about planting shit throughout the house, like getting a bunch of just like novelty dildos. And just like putting them in random places throughout the house so they would have to. And they're coming again tomorrow, hopefully. When they say tomorrow, they actually mean next Friday. Anyways, um, or maybe like a bunch of like blow up dolls and just like fill the closet so when they open it, they all fall out. It'd be so fun. Just sitting in the bathtub waiting. I've been waiting for you. Just kidding, that's really creepy. Alright, I'm gonna leave. Bye.